Hey everyone, this is Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to cover the new procurement service management that came out generally available in San Diego. It's been limited availability before San Diego, so we saw some of it in Rome. Um, but uh, in San Diego, now anybody can get procurement service management. In this video, I'm actually going to show the shopping hub experience. So what you're looking at behind me is employee center. And in employee center, we have this nice new look and feel for people to come in and see all the different departments they might need something from. If you look at the very top, I'm going to just point it out here, there's this menu item for purchase and expense. So if your uh, organization was to come in and do this, they'd be able to browse purchase and expense. And initially on this portal, what the experience is more like a, a catalog and knowledge article experience, right? So you can see I've got some different requests that I can make around buying something, canceling something, or creating an RFP or an RFI. Um, and these would be, you know, typical procurement activities that you need to work with procurement on. So nice form layout to ask questions. What are you looking for? What date do you need it? Is there anything else we need to know? Standard stuff that you might see in just a catalog. Um, what's new or what's neat is this shopping hub. And I, I like to phrase this as it is a storefront now for what procurement wants people to have permission to order. So um, in this case, I can see I've purchased in the past a, a digital signage player, a tripod, a microphone, and I can just kind of scroll through the things I've seen. Um, I've got some suggested, suggested suppliers to actually purchase from. So, and then it actually looks at my department uh, and sees, oh, okay, your department orders from Indeed and B&H Photo and Bright Carbon. Um, you may want to look at those particular catalogs in order to order something. If you were to click on one of these, you can see all the things that might be available that's approved by procurement for you to purchase. Um, there still may need to be an approval to the cost center owner or to your manager or something. But if uh, this is, if I'm needing a 256 gigabyte SD card, um, this is the one that I can get and I can actually request pricing because they're going to negotiate this, um, this particular item, um, based on quantity or budget and I can go ahead and request that. Uh, so if you look behind my head there, I can specify, hey, I need a quote for this or proof of concept, but we'll just do a quote. Um, I can say whether or not it's associated with a project and project and portfolio management. So if it is, I can go select that project and associate it with this purchase. Think about that, where I can actually get the expense associated with that project and one's going to have to hand enter that in. Um, I can give some justification for why I need this SD card. I can specify the quantity. I can specify how soon I want it and where I want it delivered. And uh, on the flip side of this, you can even say, um, have the person confirm, like if it was something shipped to their house, that yes, they've actually received it. So lots of stuff going on in the shopping hub. Um, I'll show one more thing that I think is important. We'll just search for PDF here at the upper right. And uh, maybe I need some services, right? So I showed you a product actually searching for or looking for an SD card, um, but maybe there's something I need around services. So I can even have a front for the services themselves. Here's one for um, uh, an interactive PDF service from Bright Carbon. So I can say, hey, I've got a $10,000 budget. Uh, for this particular thing that I need and I need to get pricing and info and then we'll see that same kind of exercise there on the right hand side to walk through that purchase. Um, so that's Shopping Hub and that's one of the features of procurement service management. What I'll do in a future video is actually show the procurement specialist side. Um, there's a workspace and all that stuff but this is what would be the business facing or user facing side. Um, experience from Employee Center and through the Shopping Hub in ServiceNow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, please subscribe, or share it with someone who you think might be interested. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.